everybody, it's Andrea Mercy, aka Anlum, and welcome to my studio. Today is the first project for the February Creative Arts Collaboration Virtual Art Crawl. The hashtag for this month is Love Spring Art, which is fabulous because, okay, I'm tired of the cold, and where I live, it's not even that cold. So, I'm tired of it. I want pool days. I want pool days. So when I think of spring, I think of all of the Easter egg colors. That's what I think of. I think of that and I think of plants. So I took out my very small box of nature stamps. These are the ones that have like trees and flowers and stuff. And I took out a few that I have of butterflies and dragonflies. And I took out the few stamp pads that I have. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I found this awesome paper. It's like a tissue paper on a roll. It's fabulous. So what I'm going to do is I'm, we're going to make spring themed wrapping paper uh, so that I can wrap my niece's birthday present and mail it to her. So if you go right here, I did two videos uh, sometime in November or December uh, with some Mod Podge. I made um, some gifts for my niece and nephew and they needed to be wrapped and I don't keep wrapping paper around. Um, so I made a, a single sheet of deli paper wrap and then my, my nephew's gift was much bigger so I had Mod Podged and collaged several larger pieces together to get a large piece to wrap his gift with. And then I remember that I had this in my alternative paper drawer and I thought, perfect, I'm gonna make a nice long roll worth of it so that I can wrap her birthday gift for her. Yay! So that's my first project. I'm going to clean all of this up and give myself some workspace. I'm going to have it zoomed out because I'm going to have it rolled out and I want you to kind of be able to see everything that I'm doing. It's going to be abstracty, but you know, you're used to that from me anyways. All right. Okay, so I've cleared out a spot. Here's the paper I'm going to be using. It's kind of sort of a tissue paper. I don't know how well it's going to take to water. Oh, not at all. All right. So should I? Well, let's see how it takes the paint. I might have to Mod Podge it first to seal it. Seems to do okay if the paintbrush isn't wet. And I had already wet that paintbrush, but it seems to do fine over here where there is no water in the paintbrush. All right, so that's what we're gonna do is just, actually, I'm going to do this. So I will start with a fresh sheet. Let that dry. It'll get collaged into something. Let me go like this. There we go. Okay. So I need to make sure that the brush is really, really dry. Oh, and the paint actually went right through the paper too. This is going to be interesting. All right, let's try that again.
while that one dries, I'm going to make another one with a different pattern on it. And we're going to rip them up and collage them together to make a bigger square. Mod Podge it together. And then on that piece, we're going to do our stamping. I'm going to put it in fast forward. All I'm going to do is rip everything up into pieces about this big, you know, two by two inches, and then I'll start laying them out and we'll mod podge them together. Yay! So I'm going to let that dry. I tried to use the straight edges as much as possible just so I would come up with a square piece as possible for wrapping her gifts. Um, I'm noticing there's a little bit of um, lifting just somewhere where it wrinkled. So after it dries, we will flatten it and we'll do our stamping and everything on it, our decorative elements, and then we will seal it with another coat of Mod Podge and that will, that will fix that. Okay, here we are. It's been uh, two days. I peeled it up. It got stuck a little bit on my craft mat, but I was able to pull it up. So I now have a wonderful piece of wrapping paper. We're going to do some stamping. And then we will true up the edges with um, my paper cutter and then we'll seal it and flatten it. There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> oh. Yep. <sighs> that is mightily disappointing because it's going to be right in the middle of the gift. 
so now I have to fix it. How am I going to fix it? Okay, so this is now turned into a lesson on how not to stamp and how to fix something like this. So now I'm going to show you how to fix it. So before I show you how to fix it, I just wanted to add a little bit of gold to this. there. So what that'll do is cover up that horribleness that was in there, that stamp. I was pressing pretty hard on the stamp but I think because the paper was ripply um, it just didn't get a really good impression, which is fine. This gives me the opportunity to show you how to fix things. So the first thing I'm going to do is go fix this. So I really like that piece here. This part of the paper is going to be thicker, so it'll be significantly harder to fold. So this will definitely have to be the part of the gift that's on the top. Because this all started out as really thin tissue paper, but now that there's been several layers applied. Now, since I'm doing this anyways, I might as well do the final sealing coat all at the same time and let it dry. So we're going to let this dry. I'm going to write her name here instead of trying to use a stamp. I'll write her name with one of my nice markers and then we'll flatten the piece and then we're done. But don't get rid of these lovely pieces. This is all collage stuff. Even the ones that are cut up like that, that's all collage. Well that might not be collage but these are definitely collage. Okay, I'm going to turn on my autofocus and I'm going to show you because I realized when I was editing that you never really got to see this all up nice and close. So now you can see the flicking of the light that I did. I love the fact that those big um, butterfly stamps let the colors through to make it look like their wings. I think that is just so super cool. Here is where the repair has been done. And to be, it's a little bit thicker, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. So we're going to flatten it now. I have a video already made right there with the details on how to flatten artwork. Um, it's fairly basic and fairly simple. Basically what you do is you get yourself a pad of newsprint or something like newsprint face down. And then you take an iron that is set between cotton and wool dry, no steam. Sometimes it sticks a little bit at the edges. But that's okay, don't worry about it. As soon as it cools, I'll show you what to do. Don't forget to turn your iron off because this is newsprint. It will come off because of the Mod Podge sealing it and the newsprint being such a here, zoom in. See the little bit of newsprint that's stuck there? Because newsprint is like a tissue paper, it's very thin with a damp cloth. You can just pull it off. Like that. A little bit of sticky 
stitch on the back. Again, nothing to worry about. Give everything a nice wipe. And there you go. Now this part here is wrinkled because it was still warm when I grabbed it and pulled. So, lessons learned. There. See? Perfect. Perfect. And now it's really nice and flat. It needed gold. <laughs> I'm sorry, it needed gold. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe right here so that you can see all of my Artful Journey videos. I have links down in the dibbly doo to my Facebook website and Etsy store. And I thank you for coming with me on this journey. It's always fun when you're around. I'll talk to you later. Bye.